Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Curtis Hyde with Colorado Computer Support, and I appreciate you spending a couple of minutes of your day with me for this week's Tuesday Tech Tip. And we're gonna be discussing an email alias for this week's topic. Uh, if you know what that is, you're already using it, I'm very glad to hear that. However, if you've not, you might wanna hang around for a couple minutes today so we can uh, kind of educate you and see if this might be beneficial for you. So an email alias simply the aspect of forwarding an email address to a different email address. And what I mean by that is let's say if there is sales at coloradosupport.com that's forwarded to curtis.hide at coloradosupport.com. So everything that is sent to sales comes to me. And you might ask, hey, why would that be beneficial if that's the case, where it's always gonna be sent to you in, in that position? And we're gonna give an example about how that could be. So let's say if you have two accountants that work in your company, you have John and Rachel, they, they both work inside of your company and they receive all the invoices from all of your clients, your vendors, everyone that you have out there. And let's say if John departs from the company and he's replaced with Drew, well, you'd have to go through and reattach Drew's email address to everything John was related to to get all of those invoices, accounting, and relationships created to where both of them would still be receiving all the emails from the different vendors or clients you may have. Well, what you, what you could do is set up an alias to where you have accounting at your company name and then attach both of the employees on the back end of that. So if something is sent to accounting, it will be sent to the two of them. That way it's not a big deal if John leaves and Drew, and Drew replaces John because if, it's, if you attach Drew to the accounting email alias, it's gonna filter through to his email address by making one change on the back end compared to contacting all of your vendors, all of your clients, and everyone who may be associated with the aspect of accounting inside of your company. So I hope that's helpful, hope that cleared things up, and hopefully it may maybe save you a couple headaches if you ever have to replace or change someone on behind the scenes, and a big aspect of email, and hope an alias can do that. If you have any questions, wanna learn more, or if you're just dealing with some IT problems, pains, you don't wanna deal with anymore, we'd love to chat with you, see if we're potentially the right fit to help you out. As always, I'm Curtis Hyde I'm with Colorado Computer Support. You can reach us at 719-439-0599, or find us on the web at www coloradosupport.com. Well, we appreciate it as always. I'll see you next week and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.